Add a kit. With a kit, you bundle labor services and parts together so these items can be selected and added to a repair order all at once. This does a few things. Streamlines your data lookup and entry, ensures all the parts for the job get built out on the repair order, and maintains consistent kit pricing. Let's take a look. From the menu bar, click Manager and select Manage Kits, and this opens the Kit Manager window. Here we have a list of our kits in the system. Using the radio buttons, we can view only kits for a range of vehicles, generic kits, or all the kits at once. Let's click the Add button to start the wizard and build a brand new kit from scratch. First, we select whether this kit is going to be specific to a range of vehicles or generic. Let's choose generic first. And here we will name our kit. I use a code instead of short descriptions. You can use either. And I start my code with the letter of the component I'm working on first for transmission flush. And a description that will be for reference in the search results. Note that this description doesn't print on the customer's invoice anywhere. And there is a spell check button to the right of this kit description window if you want to spell check your entry. And we also need to select a category, and this is for search purposes. And this kit will fall under maintenance, and click select. Now the don't update this kit when updating kit pricing box is used if you don't want your parts price changes to be applied to any kits that we're building. We also have the choice here to default these kits to the saved parts prices or the actual parts prices when we're adding the kit to the repair order. Select Saved Price if you want the system to hold the kit pricing regardless of changes in the parts or labor costs, or select Actual Price to pass the price changes on to the customer. We also have an option when we do add this kit to the repair order to pick the actual or the saved prices. Now we'll add the labor and the parts. Click the Add Labor button and we'll select to add a labor from the Labor Services from List method. So first I select my labor, click OK. Now I highlight my labor line and select my parts. I'll first find the ATF, Dextron 2, on my parts list, and then select to add 14 quarts and click OK. Now I'll get the BG Cleaner, one of those. And the last, I'm going to pick the BG Transmission Conditioner Kit. Let me note here, if you do update the labor times under these particular labor codes, this will not change the labor times that are selected in these kits. You would actually have to edit those individually. Now when we're done, we click OK, and now it's on our list. Another quick way to create a new kit is to right-click on an existing kit and copy it. We're going to select to make this kit specific for a Ford. So we'll pick the year, make, and model, and this is for the 4.6 liter. And here we can use this kit for a particular model or not, same for submodel. And if you want to make it engine specific, you would activate that here. And then down here, we can pick a range of years that this filter works for, and this is the same filter through the 2010 model year. So we'll click Finish, and here we need to give it another name, TRFF and the extra F is for replacing the transmission filter. And I'll note that filter in the description as well. Select a category, and it's a maintenance as well. Now let's select a new labor for that kit that includes changing the filter. And another way you could have done this was just to add the filter to that existing labor code description and change the labor time but I wanted to show you how to move these parts around. And I'm just dragging and dropping the part to reorder them. And here I'll highlight that new labor line and add the filter kit, 58955. And here we go. And finally, let's delete that other labor by highlighting it and clicking this delete button and select yes because we're sure we want to delete that. And we could also reselect the year, make, and model of the vehicle for this kit up here. But I like it just the way it is. Let's click OK. And now it's on our list. We could always click the Edit and Delete button here to open and edit one of these kits, or just delete one permanently. And unlike part records, for example, once you delete a kit, it's gone. You cannot undelete a deleted kit. 
One last fantastic feature for making a kit is to go into an open or closed repair order. Right click on the reason for service and we can make a kit from an existing job. So since you can see here, I went through all the work to make up a timing belt estimate for this vehicle. I can leverage all the work in that kit in case I get this job in my shop again. Just highlight the reason for a service line, right click, and select this kit for a range of vehicles, and put in the range of years this kit covers, and click Finish. It's that easy. For any operation performed regularly in your shop, such as an oil change or a brake job, a kit will hold the labor time and description, the parts needed to complete the repair, as well as the pricing in a kit that can be searched, entered, and edited with just a few keystrokes. And with this cool right-click option, there's no reason not to save all of your work into kits that you can use over and over again. And this concludes the lesson on Add a Kit.